Alright, how you guys been doing? And welcome back to the Wife of Battle, which is truly the Scarender. And I, by mistake, forgot to put on my mic, so do not uh, post narrated stuff here. It's not all bad, I hope you guys been doing alright. This game is actually quite, well, interesting. When I seen him, I was gonna play with Bob and whatnot, and I realized that he brings in theory, well, Triubers, it brings to Blood Moon, it brings Mewtwo and Rhydon. So I already know, if he's a serious player, I am, I am fucking screwed. It, I, I ain't gonna be cut for this. But realize, fuck it, let's do it anyway. And basically take it from there. So, my idea here is to try to get some wiggle room and see if that helps. With that said, let's see what all went out. So, yes, girl, I kind of felt the easiest way going about this is lead off of Glimora, get some toxic spikes and stuff drugs up early, and take it from there. My opponent starts with Shondalo, which is not all bad. Uh, I was considering whether or not I should go for Earth Power or actually set up rocks, but initially I felt Stealth Frog is necessarily not that important, but trying to get damage on this guy definitely is. So yeah, I'm, I might have overpredicted here. He brings in Freddy, and um, my Earth Power will hurt somewhat. It's not incredible damage, but enough for me to try out whether or not getting Stealth Rocks and off the field is probably a priority and then taken out with an Energy Ball. Now, I'll be honest, I was expecting Earth Power, he goes directly to the Blood Moon, and the Blood Moon, I can easily take two of those, right? Pfft, no. But, and then again, Earth Power should always have been the play here. Um, so I go for the... I don't go for the Energy Ball, right? Yeah, I did. Um, get as much damage in there, sacking it. Uh, but it turns out Glimora is enough <laughs> or powerful enough to kill this guy and Yeah, all bad. I'm probably would regret it actually not getting energy ball first and keeping my sash Then again, I was expecting her power. I kind of felt Well, I felt honestly that <laughs> it should have done a lot less So it brings in the masks to her, the um, ogre pawn, right? And uh, I don't have the most solid mods against this guy and I initially was thinking Septos is a fair switch in and trying to soak their pros at me and I still believe it's right. that said, it, it is not without issues because this road shop will hurt <laughs> and of course without you know getting status going on it, it's kind of tough and I'm gonna actually decide to go for Roost just see how much damage he's gonna do to me he just decided to switch out and uh, I think he's bringing the Mirai on which by the way Mirai is a tremendous threat towards me I really don't have a solid switch in towards this and um, here is where I, I shouldn't say I make misplays, but I'll make I, I'll make it misplays. Um, I decided to roost, like I said, and they was thinking everything I can do is resisted, but his play should always be to, to actually go for um, uh, the electro drive moves. So I was thinking I can parry that with Glisco and I should be alright. Uh, Glisco is not defensive, it is a full offensive one, so you can't soak necessarily any hits. So imagine my surprise in Dragon Pulse. And we are not taking two of those. We are surprisingly taking one of those. But my initial plan was to get Earthquake to get really this guy dented. I mean, Gliscor is bulky, but without investment, it is not that bulky. And like I said, I was banking myself that the play was absolutely the electric drive. So I am forced to sack this guy. It does show me glad dazzling gleam, which does make this a little more problematic. He's probably fully offensive uh, with you know running those four moves. So I'm gonna send in Boralis eventually, I was leveling which mod can take this damage best, but with Dazzling Gleam, it makes Hoopa impossible to use. So eventually Boralis is the name of the game, and um, or Dara Leaves, right? Um, it is a tough call to make because our Leaves is really good versus this guy no matter what, and I don't have the means to really hurt this guy. My best play is pretty much a Sign Blade and hoping I can take like, a, a Dazzling Gleam. Um, but, of course, he has overheat too, which made it all worse, I'm absolutely not taking that. However, the positive part about that is that now he is at minus two, which makes him, well, more manageable, I should say. So I don't fear bringing Zapdos back in here. Uh, I was leveling, do I have mods that actually can't take this guy on? But in the end of the day, he can't, with, with them to get, huh, or has. He has no way of taking me out, which means that everything I do is resisted, sure, but at the end of the day, it's not gonna hurt all that much. But he's gonna terror type, and I was like, oh no. What if he's terror type like something that hurts me, but realizing he already kind of run through his all his moves besides electro drive, he should have electro drive. 
He just turns lights to electric type and uh, well I'll be honest with you guys, I was very surprised I speeded here. I don't kill, which by the way is really unfortunate, but electric electro drift will even at minus two do so much damage. So much, like I am not soaking for shit. But with Roost, I am able to get this hit resisted, and in the day that should be able to keep me somewhat afloat versus this guy. And damn, I hold true if, and I really want to state this, if he's not able to yet again get a massive hit through a crit, which of course negate his uh, minus two there, and he pretty much does the same amount of damage. Um, I mean, I really don't want to stall this, but it's, at the same time, I lost too many mods to keep myself afloat. So, I gotta do it. I gotta try to get something going on. Honestly, I feel so much regret over Gliscor. I think it, I lost it for all the wrong reasons, and I lost Iron Leaves for the very same thing, considering we're able to have speed that pretty much shake me right on at minus two. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go for one last ruse and I'm gonna try to take him out. I honestly thought my opponent was gonna try to switch out here eventually. Uh, but considering the amount of HP it is, it, it makes no sense for him to switch out. Um, is that gonna go for? I think I went for Heat Wave here. Uh, and my opponent switches out, which, by the way, like I said, on the amount of HP he is in, unless there's a spinner, which would only be the Quokka Wall, um, then he has nothing. So brings him Mewtwo, I go for that solid 90% hit in Heat Wave, which, of course, as always, is never accurate what I needed, so I missed that move. Should have gone for discharge again and tried to get him paralyzed. Yeah, it sucks. It really does. And I really don't have it in switching. I am able to have speed. Don't get him, well, um, paralyzed, which is unfortunate. The side strike will absolutely take me out. I was considering Hoopa there. I was thinking, there is no way he goes to side strike. Maybe Ice Beam. But of course, that didn't happen. And now I'm basically, what do I do? I'm checking the speeds here. So basically, if Sap was able to outspeed, then how fast are my other mods? But yeah, it's Timid, max speed, it, and the other ones, both Smaug or, or, or Tokiori or whatever, Takitsuri and um, Hoopa are all slower. So I go for the move, but basically, I'm forced here to take a hit. <coughs> yes, luckily, it doesn't necessarily do all that much. The Hyperspace Fury is, um, well, it's overkill on YouTube for sure, but I was thinking it's gonna lock myself to move. It's probably that one's gonna be it. Um, I do lose defense here, which is unfortunate, but at the same time, um, the only one I can kind of for me right now is Quaker Wall. If I can get this guy out of the way, that would be well tremendously helpful. Honestly, I should lock myself into Sin Headbutt now to think about it, but then again. Hindsight is 20 Of course, it switches in Rex, his Mirai which absolutely dies when switching. Nothing to it. Um, but Quack Wall is now a very, very big threat for maybe all the wrong reasons right now. But I am fearing that this guy packs Aqua Step. He boosts itself in speed. And if so, it's gonna be very annoying for me. And even more so if it has Moxie, then it might actually be impossible for me to uh, get this out of the way. So I was thinking, I'm sack playing Hydra. Uh, there is no way my Glimora is gonna do anything in this game. So I get Toxic Spikes on the field on the on the KO. Was my plan. But yeah, like I said, hindsight is absolutely 2020. And of course he has Aqua Step. If I stood in here and go with that Hyperspace Fury, which by the way he should go for close combat, then I would have been in a very solid spot. Um, but that is not what happens. The Aqua Jet or Aqua Step is gonna boost his speed. He's gonna get Moxie, which boosts his attack. And all of a sudden, I basically tell myself, I, I, I can't defeat this. If he has close combat, like that, that's, that's GG. And it's fine if it's GG, but damn, if I could have played this game smarter. So go for the Dragon Pulse, he goes for Ice Spinner. I guess it's necessary. It, a close combat would have killed, for sure. Dragon Pulse will do a bit over half, and basically, I am screwed. There is no way I'm gonna come back from this. And Bobber is gonna take a very solid 2 0 win. Uh, I think his remaining mods were manageable. Quacker Wall is definitely the mod that was gonna be, well, annoying for me at best. But besides that, um, I believe I had an honest chance of fighting this back. But losing Gliscor that early was um, unnecessary, really, considering that Septos had speeded. Uh, but then again, I, I couldn't have known. I simply couldn't have known. 
So with that, guys, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this game. And uh, next time you see me, it's going to be with a new team. So as always, take care, one.